Hello, today we're going to talk about how to embroider larger than 4x4 on a 4x4 embroidery machine. Now some of you already have 4x4 embroidery machines and are looking to print larger. Others are looking to get into embroidery at the lowest price point. Um, well, this video should help you today. Um, over the past two years or since the pandemic, I have noticed a large fluctuation in the prices of machines. Um, my personal 4x4 machine is the SE625, uh, which I purchased for $350. However, I have seen that price go as high as $550. You just really have to shop around for the best price. Um, now, most YouTube channels plug 5x7 machines as the machine to get for a beginner looking to get into embroidery. Yes, you can print a lot more stuff with that, um, like children's clothing and stuff like that. However, um, the price points for those machines are much higher. The most popular one is the PE800. The PE800 starts out at $600 and goes all the way up to $800. I hear whispers of that machine being discontinued. In its place is the, I believe it's the SE1900 machine. Um, that machine starts out at $1,000. Um, that is quite expensive considering that um, you not only need the machine, but you also need stuff like thread. You're going to need a substrate to print your designs on. And you're also going to need software in order to edit the designs that you find online. Um, and that's something to consider before you get that. I think a lot of beginner embroiderers don't think about the cost of everything that they will need. They just think about the machine. So, um, personally, I think it's better to go in at the four by four price point because you can get a software like say Embroid editor for around $150. So if you were to get the embroidery machine for $350, then you're coming in at around $550 for everything in total. Um, the only difference is you need to split larger designs and print them out in multiple hoopings. Yes, that does take longer and some people say that's a true bummer, but when you consider your return on investment, especially if you're looking to sell items, uh, you're able to recoup the money from your machine much faster than you would say from a thousand dollar machine. And then once you recoup your money and you start making a profit, then you can upgrade and get a larger machine and still have that 4x4 machine as an available backup. Um, so without further ado, let's get into how to split designs using the Invert Editor. Now, you may not have Invert Editor, but some other software. This uh, video is also going to be helpful for you because it's the same process of splitting the design. It's just that the buttons are going to be in a different location. A 4x4 embroidery window is the equivalent to 100 millimeters. And as you can see, this document is larger than 100 millimeters. So we need to resize it in order to be able to print it out in a 4x4 window. We need to go to edit and center on both axes. This just centers the design in the embroidery window. Use the object inspector window to turn off all of your colors. This allows you to isolate one particular object. Use freehand select mode, which is the third button down on your toolbar to select the object. Now come up to the upper right hand corner of your screen and select the split tool to separate this piece from the rest of the pieces within the design. By mousing over the design in the layers window, I can see that the larger portion of the design is still 117 by 119. This means that I still need to break apart some more pieces in order to get this thing to print in a 4x4 window properly. I right clicked and hit insert before object to move the new object that I created to another layer. This way, everything prints out in the correct order. Now that everything is cut out, we're going to need to create some alignment lines 
so that everything can print and register and uh, in the correct space when we do our rehoopings once we take this design to, over to the machine. So what we're going to do is turn off all of the colors except for the two colors that are side by side that we want to make sure print and alignment. Um, and then we're going to go to the points editing mode which is the second button down in the toolbar. Click that and then click on a point uh, for one of the colors. And then we're going to right click and then hit insert horizontal alignment at end because for the first color we want to print an uh, alignment line at the end of our print so that we know where to line up the next print where we rehoop. We're going to repeat the process of using the points editing mode but this time we're going to insert a vertical alignment line at the beginning of, I'm sorry, at the end of our stitch. And the reason why we do it at the end is because on the first object, we want the alignment line to print at the end. And then on the second, third, and fourth, we want it to print at the beginning so that we can align our alignment lines with the first alignment lines that we printed in our first hooping. I hope that makes sense. So for each one, we're going to do insert a vertical alignment line. And then we're also going to do insert a horizontal alignment line. And each time we do that, we're going to make sure that our alignment lines line up with the first alignment lines in the first document. This way, each time um, our parts print correctly in the correct space. Once we're done with creating our alignment lines, we're going to go up to File and then select Save Selected As. And it's going to bring up this window here that says custom hoop and we're going to go to the standard um, the section up at the top that says standard and we're going to select 100 by 100 and then we're going to hit OK and what that does is ensures that each one of the objects that we created prints out in 4x4 and we're going to go through and save each one of those parts as a separate document. So that way when we take it over to our machine, we have four separate 4x4 four four documents to print. And um, that pretty much wraps up this video. Next, we will uh, be going over to the embroidery machine and embroidering all of this up. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Please like comment and subscribe.